Hello, welcome. My name's Chris, and uh, this is uh, CNK YouTube. <laughs> That's the name of the channel. Um, flash owners. Annoying hum, 60 cycle hum or whatever. Uh, I've been trying to get rid of it for quite a while. I ended up going to uh, Great Plains, getting a cap kit, changing caps. That didn't help. Um, then I ordered the wrong cap kit, unfortunately. Um, put feelers out on RGP, you know, grounding issues, whatever, tried a bunch of different things, kind of alligator clipping ground wires to different places. And then I got to looking at it, pulled out the scope today, and, uh, I fixed it real easy, like, real easy, unbelievably easy. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. Okay, so what we're doing is looking at the schematic real quick, the, the board the board layout, um, bill of materials, list. Okay, I guess this is considered a, uh, I thought it was a System 6 Bower soundboard, and that's what the cap kit when I ordered it from Ed at Great Plains Electronics. Uh, I was just expecting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight caps. Six caps, seven, eight caps, whatever. And then I got a whole bunch of caps, like uh, ones that didn't make sense, or, you know. And these two main values that I, I kind of really wanted to get, because those are by the audio amplifier, um, they weren't in the kit. So then I come to find that this is well, Flash. I have a System 6 motherboard that somebody else must have put in, but the original soundboard is like a System 3. Just so you guys know, this is a System 3, it's got a 12,000 uh, microfarad uh, capacitor. Um, this actually might be a System or system 4 board, I'm not, I'm not really sure. But anyhow, um, well one of the things that I even started, you know, I was, I was kind of getting, you know, try, I was trying a bunch of things. One of the things is that these audio amplifier uh, resistors um, are right next to the AC line, okay? this. This 10J1, um, pin 1 is AC, you know, 9.3 volt AC or whatever. Uh, pin another, pin 9 is AC, and pin 5 they got is ground, okay? Um, it's center tapped, it comes from the transformer center tapped. And I thought maybe it was picking up, and here's, here's your audio amplifier, and uh, then they got these traces coming out way over here, who knows why, coming back. So I, th I thought, you know, it's picking up um, that parasitic AC hum from being over here like an antenna or something. And I was looking, trying to figure out, you know, I've never worked on ground loops, ground looping problems or anything like that. So, you know, it's just uh, struggling, struggling for a long time. It didn't seem like anybody on RGP could uh, come up with a really good answer. So this is my, well, it worked for me. It's my really good answer. Here we got the uh, here we got the bridge rectifier. Uh, this is the uh, soundboard schematic. So it comes in. Uh, you got your bridge here. Um, AC in, positive. AC in, negative. Okay. You got your five volt regulator, five volt. All your your filter, your smoothing caps. Then I was even, uh, I think somebody posted about putting a bypass, a little, little cap between one and three, which would be the same as, right, you know, putting it right across this big cap, put a small value, whatever. That didn't seem to work. I tried different values. That didn't seem to work either. Well, I'm thinking, uh, I'm not used to seeing a ground, like, it's always just a bridge rectifier and always going this way. Nothing ever leaving that way. I guess it doesn't really ma matter how you draw it, but it kind of bugged me. So over on the scope, uh, if I show you the, the sine wave, or the, it's um, about, a, I measured about a 173 millivolts, I think it was. That's what it kind of shows up on the scope is, about 100 millivolts. And it's it's just a, a positive beep, beep, 
I saw a little bit of negative, boop, but it's mostly, <clears throat> it's like a positive. Um, I tried uh, calculating it because I kind of wasn't sure if, if the one, you know, the, the cycle uh, wasn't plain to me where it's, you usually you can tell where it starts and stops. I'll show you guys the, I'll show you guys the scope real quick. And then I'll show you how to get rid of the problem. Okay, here's the, so yeah, it's like about, about, about 100 and, 170 something, but this negative doesn't go as far as this one, so when I did this to this, this farthest negative to this farthest negative, I figured that was one cycle then. And I calculated it, and it was 119 hertz, 120 hertz, okay? Now if you do just this negative to this negative, of course you get 60, 60 cycle. So 60 cycle hum, 120 cycle hum, you get that hum, okay? Um, so yeah, that's that's the noise, okay? I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it really fast, okay? I need my meter. I need my meter probe for this. Okay. Right here. Uh, connector J10 or whatever I said it was. You have, uh, here's that big 12,000 microfarad cap, right? Here's your regulator, here's your audio amplifier. Okay, here, here's your power in, AC. Nine, nine. That's another thing that I thought of. It. I'm thinking they wanted 12 volts, so uh, eight, uh, nine, nine point three, nine point three, like 18 volts times 0 0.707 will give you 12. But if you do the ground, I'm thinking, you know, what nine to, to ground? That's going to be less. It, that ground kind of threw me off. So I'm thinking there's there's plenty of other places on the board all four corners of the board are ground there's plenty of grounds this, this is braided to ground to earth ground um, so for shits and giggles so I thought why not take that ground off just remove it and I'll show you let's see if I can show you I'm gonna turn off the machine real quick here. I'm gonna push this pin in. And pull out the ground wire. Plug it back in. Ah, how do you like that? So I just pulled that ground wire out. It's right here. There's the signal now. It's like next to nothing. I actually had it quieter before. I'm not, I'm not sure. So if I if I ground this over here. comes back up louder. Oh. Turn that. I, I had this turned up pretty loud. Well, anyhow, I haven't touched the scope, and that's what you get now. You can, I mean, it's barely, one division is like 100, 100 millivolts, right? So, I, I mean, you can like 10 millivolts. I can't hear it anymore. Okay. Uh, if I throw it, it's 
excuse me, if I throw this back in, this ground wire, can you hear that? I know I can when it's back. So I'll do it one more time. Center tap wire, I'm gonna pull it out. Gotta shut this off for a second. Here, I'll let you guys I'll let you guys watch I'll let you guys watch big guns for a minute. It's hard to do a, a shoot by yourself. I don't know how these guys do it. Okay, so yeah, my connector, I just moved it over, I plugged it into pins. Uh, it doesn't matter because there's a whole bunch of empty spots. Like uh, one and two are for the, the one side of the AC. Um, pin three and four aren't used, I think, so you could stick it in there. Five and six are supposed to be the ground. Seven is the key. Okay, so I just stuck it in the, in the key pin because the, um, that plastic pin was gone anyhow. And, uh, oh, maybe that's not a good idea because one and two are, no, no, because it's the third one over. If the third pin's not used, yeah, so it wouldn't matter even if it got flipped by accident, it would be okay. Um, so yeah, I just put it in, in this key spot, pin seven. Like I said, you could, you could put it in any of the ones that aren't used, just to keep it out of the way. And, you know, like, you guys know how to get, get it out. You just pull, the, you got to pull this connector out, flip it. You gotta push the, the tab down. You push that tab the, the tab down and then you can just pull the pull the connector out. Like I said now I'll shut this back off. Can you hear it at all? I can't hear it at all. Well anyhow my battery's running out here. Um so I'm just going to wrap it up and say, try it out if you got the, the hum. Um, ooh. All right. Yeah, my battery ran out again. Um, so, flash guys or system three, four, six guys, anybody with a hum, give that a try. Let me know if it works. I know it worked for me. That thing's quiet now, real quiet. Um, I think my next video is going to be on black hole here. Uh, maybe I'll get rid of that dreaded thunk. I don't know. I might miss that dreaded thunk. This gate's kind of noisy too. My buddy said, no, oh, it's too noisy. You should clean that. Uh, but uh, another guy called me up in uh, black hole. And he didn't even know how to use the, the lamp test or the switch matrix test or the display test. And So I might try doing a uh, little overall black hole video for for him and I got a Atari Space Rider and another guy called he wanted I'm gonna be fixing his boards uh, Ingmar uh, out in New Jersey um, so hopefully I'll be getting that video done or his boards done and then I'll just uh, uh, do a little video on the, the Atari uh, so anyhow RGP guys, everybody, pinheads out there, take care. I mean, how that works.